This morning, Massachusetts National Guard troops helped distribute tens of thousands of rapid COVID-19 tests to school superintendents from all over the state. Now those test kits will go to their teachers and staffers before they return to class on Monday. And as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us, some districts are extending the holiday break to give teachers extra time. Boxes and boxes of rapid at-home COVID-19 test kits are now in the hands of school superintendents for them to distribute to teachers and staff in their districts. We feel very, very fortunate. DESE has been very responsive and we look forward to distributing our test kits tomorrow and Westboro will be open on Monday. With the help from the National Guard, NEMA and the governor's office, more than 200,000 rapid test kits were delivered in Franklin on Saturday to be distributed to every school district statewide. My operations department, they are actually right now delivering those tests to each and every one of the schools in the district. Dr. Victoria Greer is an interim superintendent for Cambridge Public Schools. They made the decision to hold kids back until Wednesday because of the increase in COVID-19 cases. On Monday, we have four um, school testing sites that our students, we're encouraging our students and their families to bring them out to get a PCR test. Desi says the kits were supposed to arrive earlier in the week, but when they didn't, the state had to scramble to find an alternative supply. The delay prompted the state's largest teachers union to demand the school stay closed on Monday so teachers and staff could use the day for COVID-19 testing, but the state declined their request. We must use Monday as a day for districts to test, be able to analyze the data, and then make plans that match the data. We're trying to use every mitigation strategy we can uh, to have a good outcome in our schools, and so this is an important day for us. Now, these at-home test kits are not mandatory, but they are highly recommended. Massachusetts is one of only a few states in the country that is supplying both masks and test kits before people return back to school. In Cambridge, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.